We come to the earth which, well, grew to get here, the way it is now. Here is our world, our planet Earth, floating in space. We will be going backward in time, imperfectly, but done in a very disciplined manner. Please notice there is no subduction, no rotation of tectonic plates, no twisting, no form fitting, no altering shapes or sizes. It would be impossible, impossible for these continental plates to fit together perfectly without this being true, and yet the upper tectonic plates fit together perfectly on a much smaller planet. Yes, there's been some erosion, landslides, blah, blah, but overall this activity is insignificant. There is a kind of conspiracy of silence among certain scientists. They know, but are not telling you, that the upper tectonic plates of Earth also join in the Pacific, not partially, they join totally. You are asked to believe that the continents swim or drift about willy-nilly, bumping and crashing as if they were on a grease skillet. This is not true. The simple truth is apparently too upsetting to too many apple carts. We're now going forward in time to show how the actual growth of the Earth took place. Imperfect as to details, but the overall is nailed. Antarctica, as you see, has become subtropical. Africa and a smaller globe move way downward under the globe. In fact, for hundreds of millions of years, the bottom of Africa was the South Pole. South America's tail goes under and wraps around the bottom of Africa. Then, incredibly, it joins coast with Antarctica. 65 million years ago and more, these continents were joined and marsupials like the duck-billed platypus roam from Australia, Antarctica, and across southern South America and up into Africa, the platypus. Dinosaurs roamed all over this world on the upper tectonic plate because there were no oceans, just shallow seas. Here today, Antarctica is frozen over and Australia and its surrounding islands are the remaining home of marsupials. Do you see how broadly the Pacific is opening compared to the Atlantic? This is exactly why the knee-jerk Pangaea theory exists. The Pacific spread is too difficult to easily visualize because it's so big. The Atlantic spread is so obvious that a child would recognize it, but they are the same.